welcome to Akshata's recipes. Well, today it's going to be a lovely ice cream recipe and it's going to be cookies and cream. This is a big favorite at my home with my family. This recipe is completely veg, it's eggless and it doesn't require any elaborate ingredients. It doesn't require an ice cream maker. It gets ready very, very, uh, I mean, it's very easy to make. Of course, it takes about, uh, you know, it takes some hours for it to set. So you have to have patience for that. But otherwise, it has very few ingredients and it's very, very super fast to make too. So I hope you like this recipe. And if you do, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Please do hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join my channel and become a part of Akshata's Recipes family. And uh, when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the little golden bell so you won't miss out any of the videos that I put up on my channel because you'll get a notification that Akshata's Recipes has uploaded a new video today. Share my recipes with family and friends and let's get started with the recipe. I'm sure you're very eager to know how to make this cookies and cream recipe and I would love to share it with you. So let's head on to my kitchen and let's make this recipe. So friends, let's start with our ingredients. We are going to be using 250 ml of fresh cream. We require 200 ml of condensed milk. I have a recipe for homemade condensed milk. I'll leave a link below. 2 tablespoons of icing sugar. 1 cup of any of your any cookies of your choice just broken up into small bit size pieces. Here I'm using Oreo. Then we, I'm going to be using about one fourth or half a cup of chocolate chip cookies. This is totally optional. Then I'm going to be using about one fourth teaspoon of vanilla essence. Now you can use a electric hand mixer if you have one, or even if you use a plain hand whisk, it's it's good enough. You can use a plain hand whisk if you have one. And besides that, we will require any container in which you can pour this ice cream and put it into your refrigerator, then some butter paper and some aluminium foil. This butter paper is going to be used so that we don't get any ice crystals formed on our ice cream. Now we're going to start by beating our fresh cream for a whole 10 minutes. Now I'm using this hand mixer, so with a whisk you might have to beat it for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to be adding the icing sugar and again continue beating till the entire mixture becomes very light and fluffy. So say for another 10 minutes. Now once that is all done, we're going to add the remaining ingredients. I'm going to start, so you can see that the mixture has become nice and light and fluffy. Now I'm going to be adding the condensed milk. You can use the store-bought one or you can use the homemade one. The recipe is very easy. I will leave a link below for the homemade condensed milk in my, in my uh, comments box below as well as my description box below. So again, give this one final mix so that everything gets well incorporated together. Now I like adding the vanilla essence, but if you do not want to add the vanilla essence, you can leave it out. I'm just adding one fourth of a teaspoon. Again, give the entire mixture a nice mix. And once everything is well blended together, all we have to do is now add 
the choco chips which are again optional you can leave that out too but we have to add our cookies otherwise this would not be a cookies and cream ice cream so here i'm adding the choco chips if you don't have choco chips you can even add you know cut up dark chocolate into small bits and add that and then goes in the main ingredient which is our broken up biscuits or cookies i'm using the vanilla oreo you can even use the chocolate one or any one of your choice and then give everything a nice mix now all that is left to do is just pour it into a container and after pouring it into the container we're just going to cover it with some butter paper and aluminum foil so that we don't get any ice crystals formed in our ice cream and our ice cream is nice and rich and creamy now i like to freeze uh, the ice cream for a minimum of 7 hours because then it really completely sets if you can keep it overnight there's nothing like it it's always better to freeze uh, the ice creams overnight then they really set very well but even 7 hours in a freezer is good enough now if you don't have any butter paper you can even cover it with some plastic uh, wrap or cling foil or just aluminum will also do aluminum foil but the butter paper really prevents any kind of ice crystals forming onto the ice cream so just press it down gently till it touches the top of the ice cream mix and then just cover it with some foil and now we're going to freeze this for 7 to 8 hours or overnight and after doing that and after waiting patiently the end result is just deliciousness and now friends comes the moment of truth Now this uh, ice cream is a little difficult to scoop out. So what I like to do is I like to cut it up into slices, thick slices. And believe me, friends, this ice cream is just simply delicious and creamy. You can't have just one slice. So friends I hope you enjoyed this recipe of cookies and cream ice cream. I hope you do give it a try and let me know in the comments box below how you like this recipe. If you did then don't forget to give, leave a big thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up icon that you see below this video. For those of you who haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to Akshita's recipes it's completely free and once you subscribe click the little golden bell so you won't miss out any updates on Akshita's recipes you won't miss out any of the interesting recipes do go and visit Akshita's recipes on YouTube i have more than 230 recipes uploaded already and i'll be coming up with many many more and share my recipes with family and friends and thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos i will catch you in the next video till then take care and see ya bye